Hello everyone, in this video we are gonna talk about what is KSQL DB is. KSQL DB is a streaming SQL engine for Apache Kafka. It is scalable, elastic, fault tolerant and supports various streaming operations like data filtering, transformations, aggregations, joins, windowing and etc. A stream is basically a topic but with a schema declared. So let's create a stream, publish some events and process it on the fly. Before start creating a stream, I just want to show my Docker Compose YAML. I will share the files and the comments on the description. So let's see what's inside of our Docker Compose YAML. I have a Zookeeper, Apache Kafka itself, KSQLDB server and client, and last, AKHQ. it's Apache Kafka HQ. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, so I will just say Kafka UI. Uh, this is an open source Kafka UI, and we will see the topic messages and publish some events via this UI. Okay, let's get to our KSQLDB server. In order to open our KSQLDB, we need to run this command. Like I said, I will share the comments with you. So I will, I'm opening two terminals. Okay, we are in. So first, let's create a stream together. I will say create stream it will be named cities and our properties will be an id as begin like it is a sql database a name as varkar and a population which could be a begin as well and our op our properties would be our topic which could be cities Right now, we don't have any topic called cities, but KSQLDB will create for us. So I will need to specify my partition as well. And our format will be JSON. So, like I said, it is JSON, but if it will be Avro, actually, we, we will not need to actually specify our schema but we don't have schema registry right now if you don't know what is schema registry is it's out of this topic and this video maybe i could talk about that in another video for json we need to specify our properties so let's create our stream sorry this could this need to be kafka topic okay right now our stream is created so let's check it with show streams Yes, cities, cities in there. And let's get to the details. So describe our cities. Yes, we have ID, name, and population. Okay, so right now, so let's see our topic. Show topics. Okay, our cities in there. So right now we have our stream and we have our topics. Our stream listens our topic and create an unbounded event of streams, right? We can insert events with two way, an event to topic or insert event to directly to the stream. Let's insert to the stream first. So I will just say insert into like this is a SQL database, cities, ID, name, population, values could be one for ID and name could be Istanbul and population could be 16 million. It's actually 20 million probably. Okay. We have inserted our data. So we can query our stream with two ways. First is pull query. We will just select the data like it is a SQL database. Like select star from cities. And as you can see, we have one data, Istanbul, right? And this is called pull query. The other way is push query. And that is listening to stream until we exit it. And that is like select star from cities emit changes okay right now our consumer is listening to city streaming and wait some messages so let's insert our second data like to um, Ankara and 10 million as you can see we have our data and let's insert the third one And as you can see, we are listening our stream. We can use transformations, filtering, 
and etc whatever we want with our cities stream so this is one way to insert some data to stream it directly and the other way is publish some data to the topic so that is where we can use our archive kafka ui so my ksql db is listening and i want exit it and get to the archive this is our cities topic and this is our KHQ UI, by the way. I will share the GitHub link in the description. Cities. And right now we have our topics. Key is null. And as you can see, our data. So let's produce the topic. And our data is like four. And name could be three million or maybe 3,000. And population could be, sorry, this could be. This isn't name. Uh, Izmir. And population could be 3000. And let's produce and get to our terminal again. Okay. Okay, I produced it. And we can see our Izmir data. So let's get some basic filtering. So I will just exit with my consumer and select just name of cities name of from name from cities okay this is our names so i just get everything but population needs to be bigger than 1 million so that means we can see our izmir data right as you can see we get just our big cities and we can get this data and sync that data to another topic but first, let's create a stream that have arrays and complex objects so we can see some syntax. So I will clear here. I will drop my cities stream. Okay, so let's see. It has dropped. Yes, I trust in Kafka. So this is our first city stream. And I will just say a city can have districts, right? Districts with which could be more than one. So it will be an array and it will be composed of a complex object. So it will be struct. This is the syntax of KSQL DB. So a district object can have an ID again as begin, a name as worker like a city and population again as begin. Okay, enter. Okay, and let's see our streams. Yes, we have our cities, right? And if I select data, as you can see, districts is not because we haven't inserted data, but our new data will have insert districts. So I will just select my data as a push query. So from cities, emit chains and publish some data from the topic. Okay, this is our contract. Right now, we have the districts as well. There is ID, name, and population. And let's produce it. And get to the case code again. Okay, we have our data and our districts. And let's get some select. So, we can say select and name and districts. First district of name. And as you can see, I set one, not zero, because index starts with one in KSQL DB. And it is not a dot, it is dash and greater than to access a property of complex object from cities. Yes. And as you can see, we can see our district. Okay, we get our data. We can select it, we can consume it. But how we can filter it and get that data to another topic. For example, you need to consume some data from a topic, but that topic is actually assigned, belongs to another team. And that team is actually publishing a lot of data, maybe it's cities. And you just need to big cities, like the population is that greater than 10 million. You just need big cities, right? And let's say you don't want to actually filter that data in your code base and deal with that business. That is where KSQLDB can be useful. We can filter that data on the fly and get that filtered data to another topic called maybe big cities and we can just consume that topic directly. So in order to do that, we need to actually create another stream that this is our first stream, city stream. So we will say create stream. Uh, we 
big cities and with our Kafka topic is we don't actually have a filter topic so we just went from ksql db to create it and um, big cities uh, so partition is one and say s select we will get everything from cities that population is bigger than let's say nine million one million and let me change so it can listen everyone every every time okay created great so let's show streams okay big cities let's listen our new stream so select start from big cities emit change and publish some data so we can see our data is working correctly so let's first publish some small city and then big city we can just insert it from here insert into cities id could be 30 it could be Antalya 30 I know I'm not that creative right now and it could be 5 just 5 yeah this is a small city and as you can see we couldn't see any data in our big cities so let's create a big city like Antalya 31 and with 15 50 million and we see our data right and the district is not because we haven't actually created it but if we would we would see the districts as well and that is how we can filter our data process it and get that filtered data to another topic that is how ksqldb works this is just the tip of the iceberg there is a lot of features like that but i think this is a good introduction to ksqldb like i said i will publish the comments and scripts and links on the description please like comment and if you have any feedback Please give it in the comments. See you on the next video. May the force be with you.